Even it's something. The way music can trigger a memory or an emotion or, or both and remind us of, of so much from our past. It was about seven months ago that I came to a conclusion that I had run out of stories to tell for my long form videos on, on YouTube and other platforms, but mostly YouTube. And I um, haven't made a whole lot of videos since then. I have made a couple, but what I was in need of was some kind of a focus, some kind of a niche, as they call it in the video making world. I purposely came to, to this location because it was here, I guess about two years ago, maybe even a little more than two years ago. Um, uh, uh, another YouTuber, uh, Pete at Tyrish Times, who had a pretty big channel, interviewed me and it blew my channel up. I mean, it, it really it tripled the size of the people who came to watch my videos. So, you know, I started making videos in earnest, but I, I kind of did run out of ideas. But so many different influences over the past couple of weeks and months have kind of opened a door for me. <laughs> and I was kind of a cheap segue there, but yeah, it, it opened a door of creativity for me. And, and uh, th there were a lot of influences, but what really got me was this music. The aspect of making videos that I appreciate most are the people that I've met through social media, through YouTube and, and other platforms. People that have become real friends, like my friend uh, Bill up in Chiang Mai. He, uh, he has a channel on YouTube called Unseen Thailand Chiang Mai. He does very well. He has a nice channel. And he and I have become friends. And Bill has been encouraging me literally for years now to talk about an aspect of my life that I've been reluctant to talk about in videos. And that's my, my yoga practice. I've been teaching um, hot yoga, Bikram style yoga since, since 2005 and, um, and, and practicing it as well. But that's, you know, that's really not a niche for me. I'm, I'm a little old, there's a lot of women, you know, these big sexy women doing splits and stuff on thousands of channels on YouTube that, that portray uh, yoga. And it's like, I don't, I don't you know, I, I didn't feel like I belonged in, in that niche in the video world. But Bill persisted. He kept saying, you know, you, you should do this, you should do this. And there have been other uh, friends that, uh, that I've met through social media, you know, including, you know, Pete, who I mentioned earlier on Tyrish Times. And more recently, uh, this guy who calls himself Roy Bot. <laughs> you have to be familiar with Thailand to appreciate the uh, humor in that pseudonym. But uh, Roy, uh, you know, became aware of me through Bill, actually. And uh, when he was here in Bangkok, he asked to have a meet up and he actually bought dinner, a pleasant fellow. But the thing about Bill is he, um, he's uh, familiar with the, the uh, entertainment business and making videos and movies and stuff. And I floated out an idea to him and he returned with a concept that has kind of galvanized my thinking. And that is, um, uh, I, I thought, you know, I've been getting back in shape. You know, I got a little out of shape during the COVID malaise, uh, along with, you know, millions of other people around the world. Well, over the last year, I've been working really hard to get back to a point where I feel like I'm, I'm in decent physical shape. And now I'm so encouraged by the process that I'm aiming for peak physical condition for a guy my age, 74 years old. And I wanna take that and start traveling around the world, visiting the people that I know from the yoga business. I know people all over the world in that business. And what I want to do is I'll talk a little bit about my, my, my fitness and my, my yoga practice, but I'm not gonna make that the focus. That's kind of be like the fundamental for the videos that I'm making and talk about the places and, and, and people that I meet when I travel around the world. Now, when I said that to Roy, he smiled and he said, kind of the Anthony Bourdain of yoga. And that concept, that idea gelled everything for me. 
Now, anybody who doesn't know Anthony Bourdain, he was a very uh, popular TV personality, and he was a chef, a cook, and he traveled around the world and tasted and cooked, and you know, it was all, about, you know, the, the fundamental for his stories were food, but it was more about the people and the places. So that's what I'm planning to do uh, with yoga and my videos going forward. So what the, was that music about that I opened with, that, that I'm playing now? What does that have to do with all of this? Well, I'm uh, eating dinner one day in a restaurant called uh, The Salad Factory, I believe is the name of the, uh, of the place. And there's this music playing in the background, the music that I, that I opened this video with and that I'm playing now. <laughs> and, and it's running through my head and I'm like, it's triggering something. It's, it's triggering a feeling, an emotion, a memory, but I, but I can't put my finger on it. Where, where does that music come from? Well, it turns out that that music was part of, it was by the very first video that I shot back in 2014. I was working in Singapore at a high-end yoga studio, and I decided to make some yoga tutorials, which are still up on my YouTube channel, and some of them still get watched fairly regularly. But I, I bought the GoPro, and the first thing that I filmed, I was visiting some friends in the Philippines, and uh, on uh, Occidental Negros. And uh, we went to a provincial park, and, uh, uh, and, and, and I shot some video footage, and I used the uh, not very good video footage to uh, put together a, a little, uh, like a trailer for a movie. And it was a template, it was a template that I think came from iTunes. That's what I use as a, uh, iMovie rather, that's what I use as a, as a video editor. And it, it probably still exists, I don't know, I'll have to go look. But they have templates that you could use, and you could produce what looks like a, a trailer or a coming attraction for uh, for a movie and that's what I did I slapped the silly thing together and it is it's it's, it's a goofy terrible video um, but it was my very first one ever and uh, it had that music and I'm sitting there in the restaurant listening to that music where is it coming from and it's coming from this jumbotron in the small mall that the restaurant is within and the music was being used for a, a promotion for a dentist, for, for a dental business. And, you know, so I got up and I, I looked at the, at the uh, Jumbotron and it was using the template. It used this, this silly, goofy template to, uh, to promote this, this dental business. Now, I suspect that the dent, dentist paid somebody to make that promotion for them. I wonder if he knows that, you know, <laughs> that any damn fool could have slapped that together. Well, that's not what we're talking about here, but that's what that was from. That music, and that's why it was so um, meaningful to me, although I didn't put it together right away at the time. It's, it's, the, it's the very first video that I made. It's the second video that I posted. The video that I posted prior to that on my YouTube channel was a, uh, a promotion for the yoga studio that I was working with and uh, working for rather and that is the uh, uh, those are the two clips that I opened this video with and it's it's a perfect kind of denouement if you will for the thought process that's been going on in my head I'm gonna be taking my yoga practice uh, around the world and making videos Sorry.